that's the end of the uh, stream, guys. <clears throat> you know, I'm out to relax and I spent time with my, my my wife. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Peace out. Have a good night. See you all later. Because I could toss some snack foods in the oven. Do you want the uh, little pretzel bites with cheese in them, or do you want me to make the stromboli? Yeah, no idea that was gonna happen. What? How could you? How could you possibly think that a new cat has appeared out of thin air? What? No. Absolutely not. No, it's just funny because of all the streams for this to happen. You will probably not notice it right now, all right? But you would definitely notice it if we were doing something else, okay? Uh, I guess I could show... We can mess around a little bit. I'm a little early. So let's actually do... Hold on. Because actually, I got to set up for Ask the King afterward anyway. This... Okay, and... No. I think I still have to change this. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I have to change it. I knew it. Because <laughs> that's not correct. Hold on. Now you could probably see what's different. You notice something a little different right now. Yes, Terry is out. That's it. Terry Bogart has been released. No, that's not it. And you tell the difference right now. <clears throat> yes, I am using a different webcam out of nowhere. I didn't ask for one. Someone just sent it to me. So just to show you how different this webcam is, this is right now 1080p quality. I can actually go up to 4K if I want, but I don't know how my PC will handle that. All right. But take a look at the different colors. All right. Red. Orange. And it actually looks orange. See that? This is supposed to be like lemon lime, and it actually looks lemon lime. It's a, it's a color you've never been able to see before with my previous webcam because it never picked it up. Now look how it looks, okay? Green, actual green, which I've never had before because the other camera didn't pick up actual green, right? <laughs> so how cool is that? This is seafoam green. This is probably about the color you used to see when I tried to use green. This is ice blue, and this always used to work. This is deep blue. And if you can't notice, look how crazy different that looks. These used to almost look similar, and now look how way different those two look, right? And then we've got, uh, like, blue-purple, and then deep-purple. Well, actually, this is more like violet, I think. So take a look at that. You see how, how better the color is now with this new camera? And I think the focus is actually a lot better, too. The difference is I have to be careful. If I go too close to the camera, it now picks up too much light. You notice that? And now I get a little bit overexposed. If I sit back, I'm fine. So if I'm here, I'm good. But if I go closer to the camera, it definitely kind of screws up. And I can mess with it. There's settings and stuff like for autofocus that I, I don't know if I want to use or not. I'm a little blurry. Am I a little blurry? Because there's a focus setting that we can mess with. And that's the thing. I don't know what level of focus I need to use right now. Um, or I could just put it on autofocus. In fact, I want to try autofocus and see what happens. Okay, we're going to do... Autofocus. Now autofocus is on. So now if I get up like this, and then if I back up, if I wave, doesn't really do anything, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think autofocus actually... Oh, I didn't hit apply. Apply. Now I put autofocus on. 
It still doesn't do anything. Yeah. It's still not really doing anything. I put it on, but it didn't do anything. Um, but there's other things. Here's the cool part about this camera. This camera is so adjustable, okay, that I never have to get up to touch the camera ever again. If I if it accidentally seems to be like moves around or whatever, um, is it focus? Is it auto focusing for you guys? Hold on. Oh, it did work. Look, it did work. It absolutely did. It's just the. It's not auto. Okay, let's try this. You want to try auto white? I don't think the auto white balance works well. Let's try it. Oh God, that's see. The auto white balance does not work at all. It destroys the scene. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> no, auto white balance does not work. Wow, that is really awful. Auto white balance does not work at all. Yikes. That is really bad. So we're not doing that. Auto white. Well, I'll just manually pick white balance. Um, no, but the cool thing is that this is the most adjustable webcam I've ever had. It allows me to do pan, tilt, and roll. So it goes up, down, left, right, and it angles like this automatically. All you have to do is I'm in a setting right now, a menu, and it'll do it. Like watch this. Let's say, for example, I wanted to go a little bit to the left. Right now it's at negative one pan. Let's say I wanted to go this way. Look, look at that. How cool is that? It doesn't, I can just do it right from my menu. I don't have to do anything. It just does, look at that, it's moving. It's crazy, like a robot. <laughs> it's pretty wild. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, so I had it on negative one. This is where I had it. Okay, and it does that up, down, left, right, and it tilts around like that too. So it's pretty crazy that it does that. Uh, that's right. It's like seeing Seinfeld's hallway. Exactly. You can actually see other parts of the room now. So if I have something to show you over here, over here, I can actually have the camera auto move around. Remember we were talking about possibly building Legos or maybe, you know, feasting with Phil. I can actually show you the food. Like I can move the camera manually down to where it needs to do that. Just by sitting here, it does it. It's a really cool adjustable camera. But here's the, it's actually a 4K camera. Do you want to experiment and see if 4K even works? Let's see if 4K even works. I didn't try it yet. Ready? This is supposed to be 4K, but it's probably going to destroy my processor. I'm, I'm curious. Let's find out. You're not going to see it in 4K, but it should be better quality than what you were seeing, like more resolution. Oh, by the way, I, I want it on blue. There we go. Uh... So this is supposed to be 4K resolution webcam. Wow, it does look detailed, doesn't it? it? You're still seeing like 1080p, just so you know, to be clear. But it's definitely like the sensor is better. Like, do you see how much better the quality is in here now with this camera? It's insane. It's like really clear. But it's going to use more of my CPU. So we have to see tonight as we test with this camera how much it uses. Because this may be something to save for uh, the new PC, which I'm going to be switching to in about one to two weeks, depending on time. Okay? But, man, it looks better, doesn't it? Look at the color. Does it? Look at the color. The color representation is outstanding. Look at that. Orange. I love it. You can see the colors now. Green. We have to have green for the first time ever. Green on stream. This is excellent. Now, for the record, I literally didn't ask for this camera. Someone just sent it to me. And I was like, what? So I didn't even know it would work with my current PC, but apparently it does. It, it works with Windows 8. So there you go. Okay. Anyway, I got to get this back to the right resolution now um, for Street Fighter. So I have many different resolutions I can use. I think this one is actually a 4.3 resolution. It is, but you see what happens? See, it zooms all the way out. So now what I got to do is I got to zoom in so it's like how it's supposed to be for when I'm doing Street Fighter. So let's go to properties, go to configure video, got to go to zoom over here. It's like four menus I got to go through to do this. Go to zoom. And that's probably, that's probably good for Street Fighter right there. You saw how good that zoom was? Pretty crazy. The one thing... 
Once again, this is the next second webcam in a row. It claims it's 60 frames. It's not. It's only a 30 frame webcam. It only seems to work 60 frames per second if you use their proprietary software. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm going through OBS. So because I'm going through OBS, you're not going to see 60 frames ever. If I used their software to do a video or whatever, then you would see it. But I don't understand how people are getting 60 frames like on streams. I don't think you even can. It seems like anything that you put through OBS just defaults to 30 frames per second. I mean, not that you need to see me in 60 frames, right? It's not a big deal. But it is kind of silly that the webcam is sold as a 60 frame webcam, but you can't get 60 frames out of it. I just, I don't understand that. You have to use their software to do it. Like, that's dumb, is it not? Is the webcam filling the frame? Or does it need to be a little bit bigger? I can't tell anymore. I seriously can't tell. Uh, maybe slightly bigger? Like that? Or is it now overlapping the frame? I can't tell. It's too small. I'm going to have to go look at, or at the PC screen. Okay. I didn't get this camera. I, I didn't even know this was coming. Someone bought it and sent it to me. And I was like, what the hell is this? It just showed up. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, so thing is, it, this is going to be really useful for tomorrow. Because, oh, by the way, yeah, see, he's exposing again. This is going to be really useful for tomorrow. Why? Because tomorrow is my marathon, my digital summer party. So if you can come by tomorrow, I'm going to be on camera a lot. I'm going to have a podcast. We're going to have a tear maker. Um, there's going to be food feasting with Phil. So this webcam is going to get a lot of use tomorrow on that show. So that's pretty cool, huh? I'm ex I mean, I'm excited to test it out all day tomorrow and see how it works. So far, so good. It doesn't seem to use any real extra like right now it says i'm only using seven percent of my cpu so it seems like the webcam doesn't use many extra resources at all which is great because the other webcam when i tried to do 1080p it actually would eat a ton of resources up and this one doesn't apparently so there you go all right so thank you guys i'm gonna do some shout outs we're gonna get set in fact why don't i match my joystick which is orange why don't i match the joystick with the setup tonight which is blue Everyone, Dark Side Phil here. The only detractor channel that I watch is Doody Streams.